All right, my little mathematicians, we're back. And we're doing some more regrouping with ones and tens using our place value charts today. Again, we're just going to work through these three problems so that we can get the hang of this. And then I'll give you guys some problems to do independently on your own. Please make sure that you're always doing the spiral review, learning how to skip count by twos and by fives, and remembering how to use our place value chart. If you need any other help with this, your parents have my number and they know how to contact me. I'm always available to help you guys. Let's get started. Our first problem is 13 plus 57. Now, remember that we're always going to start adding on our ones side first. So when I look at our problem, I know 3 plus 7 equals 10. You got it. So I'm going to take my marker and I'm going to think about, okay, I have a 10. And in the number 10, I know there's a 1 and a 0. That 0 is in the 1's place. So I'm in the 1's place now. So I'm going to put my 0 in my 1's place as part of my answer. And that 1 that goes in the 10's place, I'm going to regroup it and put it with our 10's in my little box over there. Remember, the box is not always going to be there, but there is always a space for you to just put another tick mark up there for that one that you're regrouping. Then I'm going to move on over to my tens place now and add everything up. What makes this easier for me sometimes is to just do it from top to bottom. So I would do 1 plus 1 equals 2, and then 2 plus 5, which equals Yep, seven. And I'm gonna put my number seven there. Now, there are lots of ways that we can check this work. We do not have 13 fingers though. So if you wanted to do it by this, we could do three plus seven, seven in our head, because we always put the bigger number in our head. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Then we've got ten. So there's the zero and there's the one. And then we add this side up. One, two. 2 plus 5, 7. Okay? Remember to always check your work. It makes you sure of your answers, okay? The next problem is 42 plus 28. Now, again, we're going to start in our ones place. And we know 8 plus 2 gives us 10 again. So we're going to put that 0 there and put our 1 up there. And I'm going to work my way down. I know 1 plus 4 quickly, that's 5. I can do that without my fingers and just counting in my mind. And 5 plus 2 again is 7, just like over there. So we've learned today that 13 plus 57 and 42 plus 28 both equal 70. Let's see what this one equals out to. So here we go again, we have three plus seven, and that equals 10. So we put a zero that's in our ones place on 10, and our one, we regroup it with our tens. One plus two equals three, and three plus three, that's a double. We know three plus three equals six. And if we go back to our, our doubles wrap, three plus three equals six, let's mix, okay? You guys know Miss Carter does the same, but that was just for you guys. So, 23 plus 37 equals 60. And I can check my work with that 3 plus 7, 10. Put my 0 there, carry my 1 over. And then I know 1, 2 is 3, 3 plus 3 is 6. If I need to work it out that way, I can as well. So, you guys have some independent work to do today. And I know you're going to do great at it because you have been so far. The first problem that you're going to do on your own is 16 plus 54. The next is 46 plus 24. And then we're going to do 71 plus 19 and 56 plus 14. Remember to put it in your place value charts, okay? I want to see you breaking those numbers up into tens and ones, okay? I know you guys are going to do great. Please let me know if you have any, any problems. 
I'm always here to help you. I hope you guys finish all your work and are able to enjoy your Emancipation Day on Thursday and your free Friday off. I'll see you guys on Monday. Do great work.